Good morning, welcome to Life Kids Online. I'm Jaja Jingling. Now let's open with a word of prayer, shall we? Let's put our hands together and let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you for this morning. I ask for your presence to be with us in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. Now we have the worship team to lead us in a time of praise and worship. In a series of a guest at our table, our Christmas series. And for the past few weeks, we've been learning names of Jesus. And with Christmas season that is now, and in five more days, kids, five more days, we will celebrate Christmas. I know it's different, but at the same time, Christmas this year is exclusive because the guest that we are inviting at our table is the very same child that was born for us and that is Jesus Christ. And for the past few weeks, we've been learning about his names as Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. And this week, we're going to learn about the Prince of Peace. But before that, let's read our Bible passage from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And it says, For, our, for to us a child is born. To us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So this week, as we learned that the Prince of Peace, who is it? It is Jesus. But what does it mean by having that name? We look in the New Testament and we find that this person loves peace. Jesus loves peace. This person preaches peace. This person practices praise. This person will die for peace. And this person is Jesus, the child that was born for us, for you, for me, for us, who is our ultimate example of what peace is. But how do we know that Jesus is the Prince of Peace? How is He the Prince of Peace? Number one, peace with the Father. Jesus has peace with the Father. 
There is no conflict between God, between Him and the Father because Jesus has no sin. And because of that, there's no conflict. Unlike us, we have sin in ourselves. That's why we are separated from the Father. This is so important and the reason why we so needed Jesus in our lives. Number two, peace with himself. Jesus has peace with himself. Ah, you must be wondering, why does he need peace by himself? We all need peace in ourselves. There is no conflict between Jesus and his thoughts. He knows what his purpose is. His purpose is. He knows what the truth is. He knows everything that he's doing and saying or thinking and everything he knows, it is the truth. Unlike us, our thoughts are always in a mess and we tend to be influenced, we tend to be tempted easily by anything or anyone. That's why we need Jesus to be the Prince of Peace for us. And the third one, peace with any situation or circumstances. He has peace in every situation. You see, Jesus, one particular thing about him is that he is always, always calm and he's always, always clear and focused in every situation and any situation. He never panics, not at all. When the devil tempted him, or when he was in the boat in the middle of the storm, or when he stand before Pilate during his persecution, or when his good friend Lazarus died, or when his disciple betrayed him or denied him, he never panics. Unlike us, when we are in trouble or when we are, basically when we have a problem, we panic, we are nervous, we do not know what to do, we are lost. When bad things happen, we just panic, right? But peace is one of the perfection of God's nature. And Jesus shared that divine nature. He is that perfection in himself. He's the ultimate peacemaker. Wouldn't you agree on that? That name, that he is the Prince of Peace, tells us that he is at peace with himself, with his father, and with any circumstances. Mankind are known to not to have peace with God. We read the Bible that we are always at odds with God. We, um, we gave to idolaters. We are enemies with God. Somehow, we are sinners, and we've committed treason against the Almighty. There is no peace between man and God, according to the Bible that we read. Here is where Jesus stepped in, and it's very important for us to know. John 14, verse 27, it tells us, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Jesus becomes the one who reconciles man to God. Jesus be that bridge that brings man back together with God. He becomes the peacemaker, bringing us back into a relationship with our Father. So it's no wonder that Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. He has that in and within him, that authority to bring peace in order to reconcile man to God. In Genesis, at the beginning, the very beginning of the story, when Adam and Eve sinned, what was the first thing that they do? They hide from God, right? They run away. They try to escape. Did they come out and face God pleading for his forgiveness? No, they just went and hide from God. But Jesus, when he is called the Prince of Peace, not only that he has peace, but he can give peace and he can pursue us as sinners, bringing us back to God. He was, he is the bridge, he's the peacemaker. There is no longer a need for us to hide or run or to stay away or to escape from God. Because with Jesus, children, with Jesus, he makes peace for us. This Christmas, a child is born unto us 
for us. The Prince of Peace. Now remember that, okay? That's all for this week. I hope you've learned something. Remember to do your FAM, your family moments that is inside your PDF lessons. So now let's close with a word of prayer. Father in heaven, I thank you that you have given Jesus as our Prince of Peace, that in any situation that we are facing, in any moments that we are facing, that you are peace in our hearts, in our mind, in our soul, in our spirit. And I pray, O oh God Jesus, that as Jesus become the Prince, as Jesus is the Prince of Peace, that may you, may this peace of God always be with us in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. So I'll see you next week. Remember, this week there is no live group on Zoom, okay? So I'll see you next week and I'll see you on Zoom for December 25th. Bye-bye.